Okay, everybody, I'm Larry Moore with um, the Larry Moore Group, with the Howard Group, and I'm going to be doing four presentations for you today, four videos to hopefully help you master your craft. The first uh, thing I want to talk about is kind of the pre-presentation that we do when you go in a home. Kind of really helps boost the confidence, you know, get the people engaged in the conversation, which is what we want. So when I first started 11 years ago, when I would go into someone's house, depending on the welcome, welcoming I would get from the individual, if somebody was warm and welcoming to me and I would sit down, you know, you want to make a little bit of small talk, you know, um, how long you lived here, like your new car, whatever. But then a lot of times before I would even open up the sales book, I would just ask the person if we were, get, you know, getting, you know, getting along great in the beginning, simply why am I here? You know, I think these people, when they call our TV commercial or go to our website or send something in through the mail, I think they actually want to tell you why, you know, you're there, but sometimes you got to work a little harder to get it out of them. So again, if you go in and, and you're kind of getting a good vibe, a warm welcome, you know, don't be afraid just to look at that person and say, why am I here? Uh, the second warm up that I kind of do, option two, is if I feel that I'm going to have to work a little more to get this person engaged in the conversation. Um, and it's three things that I kind of say, you know, again, I'll make my small talk with them. But then the first thing I'll say is, you know, Miss Smith, there's usually one of three reasons why I'm sitting at your kitchen table. Number one, you or someone in your family has experienced a funeral or recently had a health scare. And then pause, let them answer the question if that's it. Uh, number two, I'll say you don't want this to be a financial burden to your family, which is usually your son or daughter. Um, Usually by then you're getting a head nod or something. You're getting them a little bit more comfortable in the situation. And number three, and I know this is kind of strange, but I say it exactly like this, you know, Miss Smith, you know, only you and the good Lord knows the answer to this question. But most people that I sit with, if something happened to them tomorrow, they have nothing in place to take care of this. And, you know, when you kind of word it to them just like that, you know, they might be a little more open-minded with you. So a lot of times... Um, you know, they will shake their head or nod yes to maybe all three of them or, or a couple of them. So I'm not saying that you have to do this in every home that you go into. Uh, if you're struggling a little bit or it's been a few days since you made a sale, this is a great confidence booster to use one or, th one or two of these opening lines. It is in no way, shape, or form to replace any part of the presentation. You know, you still need to do the power questions with the presentation, go straight into everything. But man, this is really something that has helped me through the years of helping the people warm up and getting them engaged in the conversation. So uh, I hope that helps you a little bit.